Sarah here with a layout process video for UK Scrap Addicts creative team. This month we're focusing on mixed media. So I've decided to do a bit of a silhouette of this little cat here. I'm going to do a bit of a rainbow uh, acrylic paint background behind it. So first off, I just drew, hand drew a cat and just, um, I tried to make it more kitteny, so a little bit smaller, big head and that. Um, and I just um, cut it out to um, make this sort of mask. And then I've just put removable adhesive underneath it so that it stays stuck down a little bit better as I'm smudging my paint over the top. Um, you could always just um, print out a picture of a silhouette of whatever thing you wanted to and paint over and do it that way you don't have to hand draw anything really um, and I'm just using these paints are um, Prima impasto paints they're uh, heavy bodied acrylic paint so you can smudge them around and add water but once they're dry they're permanent they don't re reactivate with water and all I'm doing is going through a rainbow of colours that match in with the papers I'm using. I'm using uh, mostly uh, bits from Mind the Scrap Kit from last year, so I will link that shop below as well. And um, although this looks like a pale pink, it actually is a raspberry, um, brighter pink colour, but um, it's just the camera at the moment. The lighting does improve a bit later on. And I'm literally just going over the whole thing smudging the colours together to create a rainbow and then as you can see here I just peel it off and there I have my little kitty cat and um, there's bits that have smudged over but I'm not going to worry about that and I'll show you a bit later on how I will fix those I just rubbed off the adhesive from the inside of that silhouette as well where a little bit of the glue stuck but it was removable so it came off really easily now because um, some of the paints are a bit sort of thicker than others of these I've found so um, I'm just filling in a few little gaps here and there and then just adding a few splashes of colour I like I do this a lot I've done this in quite a few different layouts where I just add some extra splashes off the colour um, that coordinates with the paint um, further across the page and I just do this all the way down just filling in any gaps that I think need to filling in and then adding a little splash of colour of each one in hindsight, I wish I'd done a little bit more splashes because I do end up adding my paper cluster over the top of it. So I should have just gone right to the edge and added a bit more, I think. But uh, you live and learn. So next up, I am going to work on my paper cluster, I think. There's my picture that's off my um, kitten. He's now quite chunky. He's a good six months plus now. Oh, there he is, <laughs> right on cue. He's always jumping up on my desk. Um, but this was when he was super tiny. We'd only just got him. He was very, very small because he was a little orphan kitty. So um, he'd had to be hand reared and he's a bit mad, a bit of a crazy one. There he is saying hi. And um, <clears throat> so here I am just adding my rainbow paper. This is how I based my um, color scheme so that it would fit quite well with that rainbow there. And then I'm just ruffling up the edges of that paper. And I'll also add that white uh, behind my photo just so that it pops up against all the bright colors I'm adding behind it so that it just stand out slightly. And I'm just trimming off a few different papers here which I'll layer behind it. And each one I just ruffle the edges with the scissors. And one of them's even got little catacorns, like little unicorn kittens on it which I thought was quite cute and in keeping with the layout as well so for a bit of texture here I'm just going to add some tool I've just folded it in three and then trimmed it off on the edges to make three pieces and then use staples to stick those pieces together and then I'll glue it all together afterwards I'm just grabbing some thin foam here what I do is I just use um, pieces between each layer leaving a nice big gap around the edge so that if I want to tuck any embellishments in or change things around it makes it a lot easier for me to switch things about because it tends to peel up quite easily and it's nice and easy to tuck embellishments in and I'm putting them on a slight angle I don't tend to do things um, perfectly even I like things to be a little bit haphazard 
because I like a lot of messy mixed media so I tend to do messy layers on my uh, paper clusters nowadays as well and I do like to add lots of dimension between the layers I only use these thin pieces so overall it's only about the equivalent of a double layer of a normal thickness of um, foam tape but because I want to add it between each layer I just use these nice thin pieces and one final one for the very back and then I just need to choose where I'll put that I do end up moving the whole thing up slightly afterwards but this is um, the general gist of how I pieced it together uh, there were some washies also in the mind scrap kit that I used that came with the I think it was the July or August um, so I'm just adding some of that and then the cat and the cute um, title are very 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 old and they have been in my stash for so long and um, I've been waiting for an opportunity to use them where they match the colours because they're yellow uh, they only go with certain things so I was looking forward to using these so I finally managed to do that just stuck down a little house um, puffy sticker and then a cardstock one as well as a date bit that I'll fill in later some tiny word stickers a few extra em um, embellishments there another puffy sticker at the top and they had two sparkly hearts also from just older kits now I'm um, grabbing from older minor scrap kits just to add a few extra embellishments I love these um, enamel dots they're the matte surface ones so they don't have a sheen they're really they've got a lovely texture to them and I think they're nice and different from the usual shiny ones now here is my solution to me going over the edge on my silhouette I could have just left it to be honest it didn't bother me that much but seeing as I had this pen it's a paint pen so um, it and it's an acrylic pen so I think it's acrylic anyway <laughs> don't quote me on that almost, almost sure it is and so it goes over the top so I can just neaten up the edges there and then finally I felt like it needed some white all over it because there's a lot of white in my paper cluster but not on the actual background so I just add in some white splashes just to tie it all together as a finishing touch and I thought I'd get a cute little starry effect over the little kitten silhouette as well. So that's me done. Um, thanks for joining me today. Please make sure you check out everyone's um, layouts this month and please join in, have a go at some of them. And um, we'll see you for the next video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to check out more of my videos, I'll leave my personal um, YouTube channel in a link below. Bye.